Hey, I'm Ken, and this video is part four of my Introduction to FlowLab series. Anyone can sign up for free at flowlab.io and follow along in their web browser. In this video, we'll create a sprite animation and trigger it using a behavior. Animations are created in the Sprite Editor. To access it, click on the object we want to animate, select Edit, then click on its sprite in the panel that opens. The animation tools are here at the bottom, so click on the Animation Editor button to open them. Here we click Pick Animation, and then Create New and give it a name. We'll call this animation Walk. OK, now we have an animation, but it only has a single frame. We can add a new frame by clicking the plus button here. We could draw each new frame using the editing tools on the left, but for this demo, I'll just use some that are already included in the editor. Now I'll add a couple more frames for a smoother walk. To test the animation, click Play. The animation speed can be adjusted by turning the delay between each frame up or down. A shorter delay makes for faster animation playback. The thumbnail window shows the animation at actual size. Once we're happy with the results, click OK to save our changes. Now the object needs to know when it should play the animation we've added. To do that, open the behavior window and add an animation block. Since we only have one animation available, it's already selected. So we just need to click the loop checkbox to make sure the animation starts playing again once it reaches the end. The animation should play whenever the left or right arrow keys are down, so the down outputs of the left and right key triggers are connected to the animation's start input. The animation should stop playing when we release the keys, so we'll connect the key triggers up output to the animation's stop input. Now we just need to test. The animated version looks much better. In the next video, we'll expand our game level and add some camera scrolling so the player can explore it. Thanks for watching.